Geek, dude! Where have you been, Maya? Where where have I been? I I've been sick. And I've been drinking plenty of medicine. You've been seven months late for Formers Fridays. Hmm. Want 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 a drink? But want want a drink? What is this? It's not water. Oh damn! Damn! What the hell, man? For Friday, yeah. Farmer's Friday, I'll do it. I'll do it for you, buddy, because I love you. I love you. I have problems. You love me? Oh, okay, cool. Cool. You get, you get, get back on the Farmer's Friday's wagon. Do you love me enough for seven bucks, man? Hey guys, it's the Geek again. Uh, been a real long time. About five months, I think. There's three reasons I've been gone. Uh, the first reason is the reason you just saw where I was sick. The second reason is this reason you're going to see on episode 50 of the obscure, the Geeks Obscure Reviews. And the third reason, the real official behind the scenes reasons, my computer died hard. So I've been like furiously roaming around trying to get this thing working again and finally my good friend was able to fix it for me and I owe him so much. I can't tell you how much I owe this guy. But um, we're not here for that. We are here Performers Fridays, and today we've got uh, a good one. <laughs> so let's just get on with it. Uh, today we're going to be covering Warpath from a th from the Transformers line. I don't know if we're calling it Transformers Universe or Transformers Classics or whatever, but it's the Warpath. It's not the current Warpath that came out for Combiner Wars. It's the one just before that. But uh, it's a great figure, and I can't wait to take a look at it. So come with me down the rabbit hole to Transformer Land. So this is Warpath in tank in vehicle mode. Rolls around pretty well. The wheels are kind of lifted, so they don't work too well. But they're there. Really, mobility is not the biggest issue with these figures. But mostly it's a argument of articulation, and this guy's pretty articulate. Uh the cannon turret swivels all the way around. And tank cannon lowers and rises, and I really like that idea. And, um, but, as with most Transformers, the vehicle part isn't really the impressive part. It's the robot mode. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Exciting Transformer D-010 Exciting Transformer D-010 Well, guys, here he is in robot mode. Uh, as you can see, the cannon has gone inside the chest cavity a little bit and I really like that idea because when you're in the middle of transforming him uh... see if you can see this push the cannon part back and it helps to push the head out so that's a really easy helpful step in transforming now one thing I have to point out is that uh... well these weapons if you can see I'll show it like that this thing folds in and out which I like a lot which helps between the robot and cannon mode. Uh, what I need to point out is this guy had a projectile weapon and I lost the missile. So this is where that thing would have gone and I lost it. But what I really noticed is the mechanism is very very similar to the original toy lines how their mechanisms for launch projectiles were. And I think that's really cool but anyway Warpath is here and he's definitely bigger than his G1 counterpart 
But I'm fine with that because, yeah, he's bigger, but he's definitely not as big as the heavy hitters. Like, uh, Prime is easily going to tower over him, which is fine with me. And I don't know. I just, there's something about this figure that I just love so much. It's like it can do no wrong. It, where the Galvatron figure was the perfect example of how a Transformer toy could be made horribly wrong, this is a figure that can be made horribly right in all the right ways. It folds up just perfectly. You can see how the tank treads are and it's unless you have them it's really hard to explain how the folding and articulation and all that stuff works but it's a beautifully crafted figure beautifully articulated and I just I'm so happy to have him in my collection. Ah, if I can get him to stand. There. So that's it for Warpath and that's it for me today. Uh, I owe you guys a lot, and I'm so sorry to have been gone for so, so long. I really hope I'm on the way to making up for it. Please bear with me. Next couple weeks is going to be episode after episode after episode. I will not be late. Um, if the episodes are late, that's due to unforeseen circumstances, like an episode couldn't get through editing on time, or there was technical issues. I swear to you, these episodes are being made round and round and round. I am pelting them out as best I can. This is just the first of many. And if I can help it, I might even get a bonus episode in for this week. No promises, but we'll see what happens. Now, I'm going to bring you over to Dingle, my buddy who kind of woke me up, <laughs> got me out of my slump, to give you all the information you need to find out where you can find us and where you can contact us and all that fun stuff. Dingle? What, man? I'm having some of your dr Oh, hey, uh... Swear, it's water. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um... Right, right, uh... Info, right? Right, um... You can find more awesome reviews and discussions about toys, comics, and what, oh, video games over at thepopculturenetwork.com you want to talk to to us on uh, Twitter, I think, you can check us out. Dirt's on at PCN underscore Dirt. And Geek's on at One Geek of Many. Right? One Geek of How many is in Many? If you want to call a 24-hour hotline, it's a... Uh, one two one seven nine five three four oh two five it's twenty four hours how many hours in a day damn man okay it, it's on all day and night so forever so check that out if you want to talk to more fun people like me and I guess the geek and the dirts and the killings and whatever. Go to jointheforums.com and you can talk to more nerd people like yourselves. And be sure to check out more of the geek stuff. Oh, and I'm on one of his episodes at on YouTube at um he shows the geek reviews. What's that? What? I don't know an ad. Oh. Oh, um, <clears throat> I think it's www, w, three W's, three W's, www.youtube.com backslash the geek reviews. That there were obscure reviews, whatever. So, uh, that, that's all for me. Time for more geek. Oh, my sweet love. Thanks, Dingle. And that's it for me. So, until next time, this is the Geek, finally again able to say, good journey.